There is an association with that, yes, definitely. I think our chief scientist was saying that, oh, we wanted something that would smash the virus like a hammer. So, naging moldopiravir. Oo, para matigas. Yung pala kinawa yan, ha? Martilyo. Pa basics lang po, yung moldopiravir po, para klaro sa lahat ng nanonood, ha? Uh, what kind of a drug is it exactly? Diba, it's not a vaccine. Uh, it's, is it a therapy Oran. drug? Uh, what, what exactly does it do? It, it just uh, reduces the, the, the danger of getting critical uh, COVID? Yeah. Uh, Molnupiravir, ang tawag niya siya sa kanya is an RNA polymerase. It's an antiviral. Basically, ang ginagawa niya, uh, he copies or he looks like he looks like a component of the virus RNA. So mm, tuloy, yeah. pagkakamalan siya na friend. Yung pala kaaway. Because when mm, that gets mm. inserted into the virus RNA, hindi na makakopya yung virus RNA. Hindi na siya makareplicate. So he actually mimics and actually is a fake uh, component mm. of the RNA. So tuloy, <clears throat> the RNA of the virus cannot multiply anymore. Mm. Pag hindi na so makamultiply, it... namamatay. Mm. So it directly attacks the virus, unlike Absolutely. vaccines. Yeah. Vaccines, they, they just uh, uh, make your body uh, fight the virus uh, by, by making it, uh, by generating yes. antibodies. Correct. Preventive that yung, sense, ano, yes. Ito direct kalaban niya talaga yung virus. Mm. Preventive kasi yung, ano, yung vaccine, pero itong, ano, itong oral... Uh, cure. Cure. Yun, pang, cure siya, curative. Mm -hmm. Curative, yes, definitely it's yes. curative. <coughs> ang habol, ang the only caveat dito is tapat within the first five days of illness. First five days na may mm. symptoms when the virus mm -hmm. is actively multiplying inside. Kasi mm -hmm. yung stages ng COVID, marami yun, di ba? At the early start, it's the multiplication. Pag nag-invade, mag-multiply. Tapos it starts developing the pneumonia. And then the late stage or the complications. Doon naman yung hyperimmune response ng katawan over-responding to the infection. <coughs> At that point, useless na yung molnupiravir. Molnupiravir um, is most effective doon sa maaga pa habang nakakaroon pa ng symptoms, dinalagnat, inuubo, nagsisipon. Alright? The usual side effects, no, namawalan ng panlasa o hindi mm. na nakakamoy. These are early stages or early signs of the infection. Kaya doon dapat, mm. ano, kung... Uh, positive na siya for by uh, rapid antigen or by uh, <coughs> PCR, pwede nang gamutin yung pasyente. And we di this is where we saw the most benefit in these patients. Pero doc, ito ba eh, over the counter o kailangan mo ng prescription? Uh, this will be prescription. Uh, mm. And, and it, because <coughs> it likely na either ipapasok sa either compassionate special permit or sa emergency use authorization, idadaan malamang to sa mga ospital. Through their mm, uh, uh, charity, <coughs> through their outpatient uh, services, be it mga home service, or di kaya through their teleconsultation services, uh, dun idadaan malamang. Mm. Because uh, hindi pa to pwede sa mga bukita. <coughs> uh, Doctor, ano palang ka UA? Po. UA pa lang? Malamang EUA ito. Ang, the potential UA. routes, kasi what we're waiting for right now is the US FDA to give the emergency use authorization. Oras na nangyari yan. Kasi das, <coughs> siyempre, yung USFD, napaka-rigid, di ba? Uh, so, oras na sinabi na, okay to, magandang resulta, it's effective. Malamang, all the other manufacturers in the world pwede na mag-distribute ng produkto. Kasi right now, uh, we have signed off, we signed off to allow at least eight generic companies to make already the drug. Para that way, maparami... Kasi yung patent yan, ano, open na. Look, patent, Basically, lumalabas ganun na. Pero syempre, we still have uh, contracts, lalong-lalo na to assure quality. May patent pa rin kami, <clears throat> but we are allowing people to make the drug already. And at the same doctor, time, assuring na may quality. Ilang, ilang pong kapsul ang kailangan inumin sa isang araw? Uh, the dose is 800 milligrams twice a day. Now, I think it will be 400 milligram tablets. So, lumalabas nun, two no, dalawa, tablets twice. two times a day. Two Makan tablets two tableta, day. Doctor, more or less. Ah, I cannot answer the question. I, can, I don't know the answer. To be honest, I cannot answer because I don't mm. know. Why don't I know? 
Because nga, binamigay nga namin yung pagpapalang pa, sure. or yung patent oh. to these generic companies, hmm. sila na bahala mag-pressure on their own. They will hmm. decide what their price is. <clears throat> because syempre, they have their manufacturing costs, they have their persons, hmm. yung mga personal, shipping, etc. So sila na bahala sa pricing nila. Hmm. And by the time hmm. it comes here, hopefully, it's at an accessible, affordable price. Kaya nga namin ginawa itong kontrata na to to increase the number of tablets because maras, mas maraming planta ang makakagawa, eight companies versus just one, mm-hmm. pangalawa, to also make sure that hopefully affordable ang cost uh, as it comes down to the Philippines. Kasi the Philippines is under the lower middle income countries. So ito yung mga 104, 105 countries uh, as determined by the World Bank, na yung mga income natin. And then on that basis, Doon papasok ito mga companies na to, to manufacture and distribute the drug. Ang nangyari nun, yung Lung Center at saka Kirino, uh, they contributed patients to the study na kalalabas lang. Yung, the, uh, yung lumabas sa 750 plus patients, 50% reduction in risk of needing hospitalization. Now, that's the move, in, move out study, so outpatient study. Ngayon, ang gagawin namin ngayon, the next study, may isa pa kaming study na gagawin, Titingnan naman namin, if somebody in a household, like uh, kuya, nagtatrabaho sa call center, na uwi yung virus, and so syempre kuya gets sick, mahawa ba niya yung the rest of the family? How can we protect the rest of the household from getting sick? Mm-hmm. That's the study we're about to launch. Again, we're going to do it at Kirino, and the next one is at Asian Hospital. So, doon naman, naging, in a sense, prevention. Pero it's mm-hmm. already post-exposure. Na-expose ka na sa uh, index case or the person who brought home the virus. Mm-hmm. How can we now protect the rest of the household from getting sick? So, that's mm-hmm. the move-ahead study, which we will be launching very soon. We have a few things to complete in terms of documentation, but hopefully we can start very soon. How long po yung study and how many uh, subjects po dyan sa study uh-huh. nyo? The actual, tr- the actual observation period is a total of 29 days. Once you start enrolling a patient, we monitor them for about a month. Pero syempre, global ito, we work we recruit patients from the Latin Americas, Euro- Europe, the US, etc. Wherever we can get patients. And then on that basis, may timelines kami. So hopefully, we can complete the study sometime er- uh uh, within the first semester next year, makumplete yung uh, okay. boom global numbers. Mm-hmm. Kasi may target Doc, number of patients kami na dapat ma-enroll. Doc, huwag nyo kami kakalimutan, Doc. Ha? In the Philippines, mga ilang po ang target ano, patients? In the Philippines. Uh, we actually began with a target of 15 patients. Umabot kami sa 27. So, kudos talaga to the team sa Lung Center, tsaka sa Quirino. Ang galing nila mag-recruit, mag-hadap ng pasyente, alagaan yung mga pasyente throughout the study. Mm-hmm. Doc, panukawin pa pala ng SARS, ano? Uh, itong molnopiravir na ginagamit. Tama ho ba? Yes. It was actually, uh, 2016 pa lang, inaaral na siya, they're looking at it for influenza as a potential mm-hmm. drug for influenza. Kasi maraming virus ang gumagamit ng yung uh, uh, RNA polymerase, that particular mechanism. So there are multiple Apa. potential viruses that could be attacked. So they were looking at it for influenza, they are looking at it for Ebola, pero suddenly 2019 sumabog yung COVID, so they started looking at it for coronavirus. Turns mm-hmm. out, it is exactly that mechanism of action na ginagamit din ng uh, coronavirus. So yun, inaral na namin ng todo for uh, coronavirus since mm-hmm. 2019 to the present, and now we, we're here at this point na re- almost ready to uh, release itong gamot na to to treat COVID. Mm-hmm. Okay, so talk, this was not overnight. This was not developed overnight. It's not an overnight success. <laughs> it's been going on since, uh, the studies have been going on since 2016. The basic mm-hmm. research, even before that, pa, because there, uh, there was already a recognition na kulang na kulang tayo sa mundo ng antiviral agents. Maraming antibiotics, pero pa paano antivirus? Mm-hmm. And they were actually looking at potential biological warfare. What if somebody develops or weaponizes a virus na yung pala will start now killing off humanity? Parang you'll create your own mini pandemic, kumbaga. So that's why there was already re- basic research being done in antiviral agents. Mm-hmm. And this is the output of antivirus research. And the basic research that was done even before 2009, 2010, mga ganung panahon. 
So come 2016, mm -hmm. we have a molecule that looks like it could work versus influenza or Ebola. Then 2019 happened and it got shifted to uh, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. oh. So that's Doctor, how so innovation parang, works. Mm -hmm. okay. innovation, Doc, marami basic uh, research. Without getting too technical, Doc, no? uh, alam natin na it stops the virus from replicating. Pero anong yes. meron sa kanya kung bakit natatamaan niya ang lahat ng strains ng COVID? Okay. Yung mga strain kasi at yung mga vaccine, they're focused on the spike protein. Kumbaga, that's the, that's the uh, protein on the surface of the virus mm -hmm. na kumapasok sa receptor at nag-cell. Itong gamot na to, that's not bothered, doesn't care about the spike protein. Eh, yung spike protein, doon nangyayari yung mga variation. Walang pakialam itong gamot natin sa variation. Ang pakialam niya sa basic mechanism of how viruses multiply. So totally different yung mechanism of action. And nakita rin namin in the studies na ginawa namin na keso delta, keso gamma, keso mu, parang Greek sorority fraternity. Fraternity names, yeah. But whatever the ano is, whatever the variant is, effective siya. We saw at least... Doc, meron bang side effect itong gamot? Meron right ba, now, the nyo? side effect profile looks exactly like placebo or sugar tablet. Siyempre, in the studies, inaral namin, may active drug, molnupiravir, meron din sugar pill. Para that way, magkumpara namin. And the side effects in the sugar pill was something like 3.4%. Were so bad that the patient said, no, tigil na to, ayoko na. 3.4%. In the molnupiravir group, 1% lang. So, lumang ano pong nangyayari? Uh, ano pong nangyayari? I guess kasi not effective, kasi sugar pill. So, tuloy, the effects of the COVID uh, disease, sinabi ng pasyente, ayoko na, ayoko na itong gamot na to. It's not working. It's making me feel worse. Versus, mm -hmm. somebody who's getting better, ah, tuloy lang yung gamot. So, that's, mm -hmm. I think, the main issue. So far, so good. The, the, uh, the profile looks pretty clean. Siyempre, as millions of patients start taking the drug, baka merong lumabas ng panibagong side effect that we're not sure of. But mm -hmm. this is hopefully from all the basic research we've done, examining it in animals, examining it in human volunteers, mukhang malinis. It looks very mm -hmm. clean in terms of the side effects mm -hmm. profile.